January 2021 hits different. <laughs> I'm trying. It is currently 10.30 in the morning, 10.45, I think, and I am still in my robe and slippers. <sighs> I suppose I should get dressed. Seriously though, I had so many motivations going into this year, but here we are in the almost the third week of January, and I just haven't found that <laughs> that puppy power. Ah, I swear to God, I was supposed to film this video a week ago, but instead I just, I sent the husband and girl child out of the house for a few hours and I ended up once again, staying in my robe and slippers and pajamas, curling up on the bed, and eating an entire bowl of popcorn and watching a few episodes of Sabrina. It was perfect. But you know, that's fine. I think that, um, I think we're all still processing it. This is annoying. Yeah, I think we're all still very much processing what this last year has been and what this year already is. I and many people I know are feeling very exhausted this month. And I, yeah, I think that's okay. We don't need to come out the gate just ready to do stuff once January hits. January to me, and something that I learned last year is January, it's still the middle of winter. It's very much a time to be still, to be quiet. It's the it's the rest after the craziness and the activity and the celebration of the holiday season. And with last year being what it was, it only makes sense that we would need extra rest, that we would be in an extra restorative state. So don't feel bad if you're not feeling motivated right now. It doesn't make sense that you would be, unless you're some sort of superhuman, or you've got some sort of magic juice, and in that case, serve me up a cup. However, today is beautiful outside. So I'm gonna open up the windows, go outside, and play with my family in the backyard. But I really did want to start getting some content going. So today I think I'm just gonna do an easy little January day in my life. If there's one thing 2020 has taught me, it's that we have little to no control over what happens outside of our own little world. And though I do believe that we as human beings have a duty to each other to use whatever abilities we possess to bring more love and compassion to humanity as a whole, maintaining our own peace, tending to our own garden is paramount above all else. So, I made a conscious decision to ease into this year, to take it slow, to rest, and listen to what this year is asking me to be. Luna. Our yard is becoming green and beautiful again. Got some of the first signs of spring. We got dandelions growing. Just planted some bulbs. Little daffodils already coming out. Hey, little daffodil. How are you? One peeking out over here. <laughs> My passion plant are supposed to be coming today. And I just saw the mail truck drive down the street. He was going the opposite direction though, so we'll have to see. <laughs> Wait until he comes back the other way. Oh my god, I'm so excited. 
Thank you. Oh, and special treats and my planner. So I literally just walked out of Rowan's room after putting her down for taking a nap. And Adrian walks in with Starbucks with my order from Dessert by Jackie Robinson. She is a local baker friend of mine. And my freaking planner! Oh my god, what a wonderful day! What a wonderful day! Look at these bagels! Oh my god, I'm so excited. I am at my weekly Five Rhythms dance class in this absolutely stunning two acre garden. I love to come into this grove of redwood trees before we get started. Just sort of center in, neighbor doggy, hi puppy, <laughs> before we get started dancing. For me, last year was a time of intense growth and self-discovery. I set out with the intention of healing old wounds, letting go of the past, and getting to know who I am now and what I want now after over a decade of change. This year is about remaining grounded in that knowledge and a commitment to building a life of intention, something that's sustainable for the long term. One of the key factors in this has been my five rhythms dance practice. I come here every week or every other week and for two hours just live in my body. Every movement is a prayer, every twirl and leap, and yes, it does get that crazy, is a reminder of what's in my soul and a spell cast for the life I am creating. These January days have also been spent cleaning, slowly. It's more about cultivating habits. It's about showing gratitude and appreciation for our home and our space, more than it is about keeping up appearances. So much of this year is about slow and steady growth, about building something real, a foundation that can last us for the rest of our lives, or at least for this next long chapter. The time has come to open the package. Rowan is gonna help me. Hi. <laughs> gonna help me, baby. Oh. Take it out. Oh. Oh, this is beautiful. This lovely tropical plant design embossed. You can probably see. It. There you go. Lined. Oh, well, that's a little pocket. We have your pocket. That's a little pocket. What's in there? What's in there? Oh, create the life you've always wanted. Create the life you've always wanted. Isn't that a nice thing to say? Hi, Mama. Hi. I have an idea. What's your idea? Read books. Read books? Yeah, we can go read Hi. some books. I think that we should go outside. It's a beautiful day. Oh. Should we go outside? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna have some fun with this tonight after someone goes to bed. <laughs> doing sexy man things.
By the way, I'm totally making this up as I go along. <laughs> and now we have come full circle. I am back in my robe and my hat. The moon is here this time. Thank you so much for watching this video, friends. This is not really the kind of content that I plan on doing this year, but it's been a long time since I've made a video and I kind of just needed to exercise my video making muscles, make sure they still work. Yes, I am very excited. I actually have the next couple months of videos planned out already and I've got so many wonderful plans and ideas for this year. Whew. Just for a little preview, the month of February is going to be all about filling our own cup, all about self-love and self-care and really putting forth those intentions we have for ourselves and our life to become the best us we can be. And if that sounds like something you want to be a part of, go ahead and subscribe, like this video, share it with your friends. There is so much good stuff coming. Anywho, thank you for being here. Thank you for listening. I hope you are easing into this year at your own pace. This year is all about being committed to the journey. Okay, bye.